I feel like bitches always find me. I've always had bitches in my life. Just always bitches. You always remember the first bitches you ever encounter, right? I remember my first bitches. I was in fifth grade and I was on the playground with my besties, Nikki and the Christinas, Christina Gonzalez and Christina Salazar. <laughs> and in fifth grade, you know, they were super cute and little and wore little short shorts and little spaghetti straps. And in fifth grade, this was my body already, so <laughs> I couldn't wear spaghetti straps. I needed more coverage, so I wore like lasagna straps. <laughs> if you will, just to cover it up. And we're on the playground, right? And then the bitches of the school, the two bitches of the school, Leslie Mancias and Sofia Escamilla come up to us. <laughs> and for no reason, Leslie calls me fat and then her and Sofia start laughing. And at the time I knew I was fat, I just didn't, didn't think anyone else knew, you know? I was like, what, okay, we all, okay, we're talking about this, all right? Luckily for me, I was watching a lot of Russell Simmons' Deaf Comedy Jam at the time. Y'all know that show? Yeah, if you don't know that show, that show was just 90% humiliating someone in the audience, right? They would come out and just pick someone and be like, you look like shit. You smell like shit. I bet you have a little dick. I bet you suck a lot of dick. I bet your dick smells like shit. Those are real jokes from that show. And unlike y'all, that audience would lose it. They were like standing ovation. The person in the front row would run out the building, do a lap, <laughs> come back and sit down. The person sitting next to the person being made fun of is like, oh my God, his dick does smell like shit. <laughs> it was awesome. And I would watch that as a kid and I was like, I want to do that. I want to say something mean about someone, and I want to be praised like a god. <laughs> so when Leslie called me fat, I was like, okay, bitch. Here's my deaf comedy jam moment. So I came hard, you know? <laughs> Maybe a little too hard for a fifth grader, some would say. I was like, shut up, Sophia. I may be fat, but at least I don't have a mole on my face that looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> and Leslie, uh, I may be fat, but at least I don't have a dick nose. Nobody high-fived me. <laughs> None of us knew what a dick was. We just knew it was bad, right? We knew Leslie's nose was kind of weird and it was like, whoa, you went too far. So of course, Leslie starts bawling. Sophia's trying to console her friend while covering her mole. She's like, Shit, you can't call anyone fat anymore, or what? <laughs> so, of course, Leslie tells the teacher, the teacher tells the principal, the principal calls my mom. Now, my mom watches a lot of crime shows. <laughs> you know, Law & Order Regular, Law & Order Special Victims Unit, all right? That, that's her news, you know? That's what she watches for the news. So she always thinks there's a crime going on. She doesn't trust anybody, right? There could be a man walking his dog across the street and she's like, no, 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 everybody get down, lock the door. <laughs> lock the door, turn off the lights. Because my intuition is telling me right now that that man just stole that dog from a woman he just sexually assaulted. 
and now he's using the little dog to smuggle black tar heroin in the little dog butt. <laughs> oh, you don't think you could smuggle black tar heroin in a little dog butt? You don't watch the news like I do. A little cheese whiz could go a long way. So they call my mom, Miss Gonzalez, your little girl called another little girl a dick nose. <laughs> and I know that call happened because I'm sitting in the principal's office and I hear my mom just come in screaming down the hallway, who's touching you? How do you know what a dick is? Whose dick did you see? What color was it? Did it have hair? We need clues. <laughs> she starts yelling at the principal and the vice principal, why do you have dicks at this school? <laughs> huh? Why is there dicks here? She didn't see dicks at home, she saw dicks here. <laughs> I hide all the dicks at home. They're up high in a Jenga tin next to my mom's ashes. <laughs> now I have to find a new place, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, okay, that's why we don't play Jenga anymore, <laughs> got it. And I'm trying to get her attention, I'm like, mom, mom, I sat on Deaf Comedy Jam, I sat on Deaf Comedy Jam. And she's like, who's Deaf Comedy Jam? Who is that? Is that the Deaf Homeless that's always at the Exa? <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, it's okay, mijita, it's okay, because you know, in the criminal justice system, <laughs> sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous, okay? In New York City, the dedicated, don't look at the ground, look at me. The dedicated detectives that investigate these vicious felonies, they're part of an elite squad. They call them the Special Victims Unit. <laughs> These are their stories. Clunk, clunk. Thank you so much, guys. I'm Vanessa Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs>